Hello, I'm Kenny McMillan, and welcome to Tool Talk. Today on Tool Talk, we're talking about the OEN Digital Link. Uh, this unit allows you to record to standard computer SSDs via USB-C with any compatible camera, such as the Pocket 6K here. As data rates and K counts continue to rise, the need for more and faster media is increasing. This also means that the price of said media is generally increasing. Solutions like this allow you to get the best of both worlds, and I will show you how in this video. So first off, how do you use it? Um, simply put, you plug it in and it works. It's a, just a USB-C connection. So if you've got USB-C, just plug it in there, and then you're going to want, obviously, uh, a cable clamp like this because USB-C is not a locking connection and you don't want to be put in a situation where it comes out um, when you don't want it to. From there, you can mount this kind of anywhere, you know, on the cage, on your support. Uh, if you can mount it to the gimbal, that's great. Or if the cable is long enough, I guess you could have it over by your, DA, your DIT if you really want it or something like that. Um, once it's connected, you just put the drive in and format it. Make sure to always format in camera, by the way, uh, and you're off. On these one terabyte drives, I'm getting 64 minutes for 6K RAW in three to one compression and 280 minutes at ProRes 422. Now, if you're shooting 1080p, you'll get 1,113 minutes in 422 and 747 minutes in HQ. Then once you've filled the drive up, you can simply edit straight off of this unit uh, after making a backup, two backups, of course, or you can get like a separate cradle and dock them all in. I have one of those. A 512 gigabyte CFast 2.0 card costs like five to $600, but one of these one terabyte SSDs costs 110 bucks. So for the price of 32 CFast minutes of 6K B-RAW, you can get six hours of SSD runtime. Hi, so actually the number that is listed on the bottom of these pocket cinema cameras when you select a format is an estimate and it's a conservative one by a lot. Um, when I let this camera run for however long it would record to a one terabyte drive. It recorded for an hour and 52 minutes. So um, yeah, conservative estimate on these pocket cinema cameras if you own one. Uh, so it's not $600 for six hours of footage. It's potentially uh, $600 for 12 hours of footage in three to one B-RAW in 6K. Um, that is just recording one big clip. So I don't know if recording um, a bunch of little clips would make a difference, but yeah, just figured I'd throw that in there. Um, doesn't really have anything to do with the, the link, but um, yeah, just figured you should know. Back to daylight me. Well, I found that by using this, I was getting offload speeds of 412 megabytes per second, which is wild because my CF Express cards on the C500 here offload at 355 megabytes per second. And CF Express is one of those current supposed kings of the castle when it comes to speed, so that's awesome. Granted, I'm using USB 3, and if I had something like Thunderbolt uh, 3 or something like that, I could probably be faster, but I don't, so I can't test that. Performance-wise, uh, I ran the camera till it filled one of these drives and didn't experience any hangups, and pulling the drive or unplugging the USB uh, mid-shoot didn't seem to cause any corruptions either uh, in B-RAW or ProRes. Now, that might have something to do with the Pocket 6K itself, but it is nice to know that it'll probably be the camera that causes any issues, not the link. Uh, with this, I was just able to, I mean, it was recording and I was doing that and no problem. I don't know, you know, I'm not trying to break the thing they sent me, but overzealous tapping did not change anything. It's an SSD, there's no moving parts, you know, and it's really secure in there. So um, it's unlikely to come loose. There's no... There's no play in there. So if you're on sticks, you know, this doesn't really matter, but even handheld, uh, this is light enough to not really cause any undue strain. Um, if you mount it in a way that's pleasing like that, you know, I can still grab the top handle. Speaking of mounting, I really like this OEN ball mount um, cause I thought that I was going to have to, you know, either spin the camera or spin the, the dock. But in reality, this little uh, ball mount here spins, the bottom half spins independently of the top. So you just unscrew it and then you spin this, right? And then so you just tighten it down wherever you want and it's not really going anywhere. You know, it's, it's a little, it's a ball mount. So it's a little, got a little play, but not enough to be annoying. Uh, things I don't like. This, I think this is kind of silly. 
just dangling around there. I would have liked to have seen like a mounting option, like have it click flat, maybe like a magnet. I don't know, something like that. But it does have a little screw hole, a little screw, so you can just yank that off and you're fine. But you do want the dust cover because uh, obviously you don't want dust getting it. There's just there's just a SSD connection in there, like a standard one. So um, you don't want you don't want to be doing the the Nintendo move um, in the middle of a shoot. But uh, that's kind of it. So if you have a USB-C saving camera and need more recording time or just want to save some money, uh, check out the OEN link at Film Tools. So that's it for me. I hope you found this video informative and thank you for watching. It's sweaty again. It's sweaty in LA again.